Welcome back to another wild ride at Karen Go Burr, your backstage pass to the most jaw-dropping Karen chaos imaginable. In this episode, we've got a road raging Karen learning some tough lessons about physics as he leaves from a moving car, a restaurant showdown where rude Karen fights customers, then gets head stomped and arrested, and a Karen refuses to exit an Uber spinning outrageous tales of kidnapping, plus an airport altercation where an intoxicated Karen's antics land her straight in detention. Let the madness begin. Get ready for Charger Karen in full force. In her world, borrowing without asking is totally fine, especially when it's all about a simple charging cable. But chaos is just a spark away. Charger. Okay, and you're relax. getting it back. Okay, no can I have it back? Give me one yeah, second. Yeah, but don't steal things. You can't take things without asking. When Who needs permission when you're self-appointed Charger royalty? Wait, oh, so you just take things? Like we're not uh, coming back? Uh, uh, Why don't you take people's luggage then? Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, you okay. can't take things without asking. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. Yeah, you're gonna be famous. You're gonna be on TikTok. Sit down. I, don't want yeah. I don't know who you are, but I don't know why you're getting involved. Ed, Ed, I don't want to get hit on this. Ed, all right, just give me my charger bag. We'll call it even. All right? Sounds good. Oh and yeah, look at this guy smiling. Please. No, you're ridiculous. You stole something without asking. Who stole it? You. She stole it. You can't take things without asking. Is it stealing? Yes, that is stealing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes, it's stealing. You're giving it back because I caught you and everybody else saw you. That's why. Everybody else said you took it. What, you can't afford a charger? Bystanders try stepping in, but Karen's convinced she's done no wrong. Who knew a charging cable could cause this much drama? Double trouble! Meet the dynamic duo of entitlement. This power couple halts a man's jog on a public street, asserting ownership. Yes, you heard that right. They think they own the road. This is not a place where you're We're running. running. This is up not and a down gym. I know it's not a gym. I'm running up and down the street. Call the police then. This is street. Wow. Wow. He didn't even finish. He didn't even finish. Yeah, how's it going? How are you doing? We're doing a race up the street. Excuse me. This is a public street, not your business. Because I'm going to call the city. This Ooh, is. Street. What the f are you talking about? This is not a place where you're We're running. This is up not and down a gym. The street. I know it's not a f gym. I'm running up and down the street. Call the police then. This is a street. I will. Go, go. Call, call yeah. the police. Bullshit. Do you need to be? You guys are living uh, too f large in the neighborhood. While you're Filming, doing We're doing one race. We're done. No. You need to come you out here and threaten me? Again. This is, yeah, this so is not the This is a street. It's Do you own the street? No. It's, it's not a, a street. What are you talking about? It's a street. It's a neighborhood. It is you a know street. exactly what it's we're talking about. It's a street. He owns a house. I don't it's a give street. A shit. So do we. Who gives it's a? Got, f I got. I got. I got. Who gives I got, a? I got. I got. I got. Don't call the cops. Call the cops. Karen's wife tries to rationalize their absurd claims with some of the most confusing logic you'll ever hear, all while refusing to back down. Talk about unbelievable. We're doing a fitness challenge. Who cares? I know, but you've done it multiple times. No, we, we haven't done this in over a month. Okay. But multiple times, it gets everybody excited. The dog is screaming because it's a lot of noise. And it's that's not cool. So come out here respectfully and tell me to leave. Don't come out and yell at me. How about that? Well, because it's not the first time you talked. We to haven't you. been here in a month. We haven't talked to you. <laughs> Call the police, tell them you own the street. Exactly, so you never talk to <laughs> Good job, guys. Let's go and film the conclusion. Away from these people that think they own everything, bro. I'm sick of these. Tensions rise with barking dogs and escalating threats, but the jogger wisely escapes, leaving the entitled duo behind. Road rage turns reckless as Karen jumps out of his moving car, causing a traffic jam and learning the hard way. Physics don't play favorites. Put an indicator on. They're not waiting for anyone. What are you doing? Bait! Oh, Are you serious? Are you alright? Mate, put it in park. It's still in reverse. <laughs> Mate, put your car in park. You're still in you, reverse. Mate, wait for that park, park is it? Put your park, car in park. Do you want me to take her out? Uh, just leave it for now, bud. Okay. 
Trump's still undeterred. Karen tries for round two, confronting the other driver while completely forgetting about his own car's gear. And thankfully, a quick reminder saves the day. Hotel chaos unfolds as a guest attempts to check in using someone else's credit card, and the meltdown begins. I did try again. I already did decline. No, you can decline. Miss Gia. Are you trying now? No, I need a credit card that match your ID. No, no, I'm in the you, you, you talking loud. We're talking about this reservations right now. I need a credit card that match. Let's work on the reservations for today. Do you have a credit card and ID to match so that I can check you in? Because if you don't, it's going to be canceled. I have the, and the receptionist stays calm, but the guest's tantrum escalates quickly, turning a simple check into a full-blown spectacle. Well, we don't take Apple Pay, so you keep on saying that. I keep telling you. I said I have a credit card. You, you're getting loud. Stop raising your voice because you're making me nervous. You're making me nervous. Stop raising your voice, okay? After a heated exchange and some firm reminders, the receptionist regains control, wrapping things up with professionalism. Crisis averted, for now. Karen's parking pandemonium. The queen of entitlement absolutely loses it over a few extra steps. Screaming, tantrums, you name it, because someone dared park near her sacred spot. I'm sending this to the cops, Gabby! Karen's delusions meet a brave bystander who won't feed her ego. Her meltdown reaches new heights as reality gives her the slap she didn't expect. I recorded the whole thing! You think you're a little princess? You're already f***ing parked! I'm not on your property. I'm not on your property, I'm on the street. Run away, I'll call the cops when you come back. F coward! F crazy psycho! I dare you to park in my driveway! I send this to housing! Maybe they'll kick you guys out! With a chaotic exit and an epic meltdown, Karen storms off while the crowd cheers. The grand finale? Pure insanity, and it'll leave you speechless. Karen's entitlement explosion. The queen of chaos strikes again, storming over to her neighbor's house with the most absurd complaint you'll ever hear. Spoiler, it defies all logic. I'm waiting for somebody, for a tenant. Well, I've given instructions to the management company mm -hmm. that I don't want okay. anything changed on my air conditioner or my heater. I'm not here for your apartment. Good. I'm in apartment 221. Okay. It's on the first floor above the ground floor, even though it says 221. Okay. And I've made that very clear to police. Karen's in rare form, throwing out threats like confetti and promising to call the cops, even though she's dead wrong. And to other authorities. Okay, have a good day. Stop stalking USA English-speaking people. USA? Yes, United States of America. Okay, I was born and raised here too. I'm not stalking you, sir. I'm You're not... stalking me. I, like I said, I'm waiting for a tenant. Yo! <laughs> My first 2023 carrot, bro. <laughs> I'm waiting for a ton of shit. She, in the, she on the phone calling a cop dog. The ultimate comeback? Uncontrollable laughter. Her neighbor's response is priceless, leaving Karen stunned and everyone else laughing at her unbelievable rant. Restaurant Chaos Unleashed. Tensions rise as an over-the-top argument between two diners explodes into pure drama. The scene you won't want to miss. The situation spirals fast, and soon the police are on the scene. An arrest follows, turning this restaurant spat into a full-blown spectacle worthy of prime TV. Weed Apocalypse. A homeowner calls in reinforcements to battle his lawn's transformation into a full-blown jungle, only to realize the wild growth is worse than he imagined. Just up just a little bit. Uh, pull the weed, okay. and clean the little seedlings out of this. He'll take all these weed trees out. like And then trim this bush a little bit. And then trim this. Yeah, this bush will probably be okay, but you might just trim it back a little bit. Oh, so. And then these bushes trim? Yeah, and then trim them back. Yeah. Okay. Just trim them to uh, wherever you think looks good. I'm okay. not particular. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. How about any of that? All right. Thing, rip the vine out, cut it off. Like, or right there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yard motor in the back as well. And then edge uh, and all that, okay. Yeah, motor and edge. And 900. Okay, my last yeah. quote was about 250. 250? Yeah. The workers break the news. It's gonna take $900 to tame this mess, but the homeowner, he's convinced $250 will do the trick. Let the negotiation showdown begin. Next, a Karen refuses to exit an Uber, spinning wild tales of kidnapping and assault as if she's starring in her own soap opera. You kidnapped me! Y'all wouldn't get out of my car! Oh. He's trying to fight me and he's slamming my that door. Get out of my car, I got it on video. I got it on video. Get out of my car. I'll wait for the cops, but you need to get out of my car. No, sir. No, sir. I'm gonna go to jail. Take off. Get out of my car, is in. so I can get out. Get out. Karen doubles down, threatening arrests while conveniently forgetting she's the real problem here. Get out. Get the out of my car. Not until I take a picture of you. And you put your hands on me, you're going to jail. I didn't put my hands I'm on, on you. I'm on with 911 Denver. You're on the you phone. Get out of my car. Money. I'm taking a picture of you. They're going to know who I am. I'm your Uber driver. Uh, They're going to know exactly are, you I'm not running from anyone. Me. I didn't kidnap you anyone. You wouldn't get out of my car. You refused to get out of my car. I haven't moved. Get out of my car. Oh, I'm not driving. Karen films her meltdown like it's a reality show, screaming accusations while the driver's patience wears thin. Just as tensions peak, the clip cuts, leaving us wondering if this nightmare ride ever ends. Here's a homeowner, once all smiles, who suddenly flips the script and unleashes fury over the project. I'm not paying you for anything. You are not getting paid. That, that is not acceptable. It's all right, I've got it on video. I've got it on video. I've got it on video. If you think this is decent work, I know, but I got extra just because I thought you'd cut it. Look at the state of that. I can't have that. Workers fire back, laying bare the tangled mess of miscommunication and crossed wires. The scene heats up fast, with both sides fiercely defending their stance. Well, I'm not paying you because I'm not having that as a job. What do you mean? Yeah, just cut it. I'm not cutting it. That's what I've got you here for. Bitters, not slices. That's it. That's Are you point. for real? Are you kidding me? You, if you don't want to cut it, then just leave it like that. I'm not leaving it like that. Are you for real? You can bloody cut it and do a proper job. I'm not having this. Stop digging up my garden. Oh my God. Stop digging up my garden now. The homeowner tries to pull the plug mid-project, but the workers stand their ground, determined to finish what they started. Meet Karen, the self-appointed noise police. She storms the construction site, demanding silence because she has to work. The workers attempt to reason. Good luck with that. Well, well, same as every day, probably to like five, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I've only been here a couple days. I know that we've got quite a bit left to do though in there. It looks awful. Yeah. Listen, I've got to get back, so well, have a good day. But... I need to know, like, how long you're going to be here for the work night. I'm going to I'm not sleeping today with all that banging. Things escalate fast. Karen claims not just a construction noise, but the workers' laughter is unbearable. Karen refuses to budge, ignoring logic as things heat up, turning what could have been a simple chat into a full-blown standoff. An airport altercation erupts as an intoxicated woman causes a disturbance, prompting police intervention. Her uncooperative behavior and refusal to follow orders leads to detention. So it seems to be the problem tonight. You're intoxicated and shooting me on the plane, running your mouth again, running your mouth to check out, or when you're getting in here. Did you it's all on video. Dead? Yeah, when you first came in, you were giving them a problem. No, I'm not! Yes, you are. No, I'm not! Yep. You don't want to listen. You're intoxicated. You're causing a scene at the airport. I literally... Okay, Place that's fine. Your back. My video literally shows up. Put your hand Sorry. down. Let me, let me put this down. Let me put this down. Okay. Can I put this in my wallet? You put it down right there. With your put it down. restrooms. No, put I need it. to put this down so I know that it's in my restrooms. Ow! With... Stop my, resisting and put it down. My hand Stop is fully incapitated with Damn. my thumb. Stop. That's fine. Yes. 
Then what? Started a confrontation. What what confrontation? What confrontation? You can't, you can't tell the flight attendants that you've been consuming alcohol and then be compassionate to the flight attendants. What would I do? Detained, but not defeated. She blames the officers, escalating the situation as her belligerent behavior shows no sign of stopping. Oh, no, no, no. I did not yell until you show me literal footage. Somebody, somebody, peace somebody in the who is. Peace in Stop. the environment. Peace somebody, in the environment. Peace in the environment. Peace in the environment. And you keep talking over everybody. You have yet to let them speak or anything at all. That's peace over the environment. You need to stop. I literally let you know right there what your job is. Don't acrimet me on the job that I literally told you what everything that you just asked me is. And then you get mad at me for it. I am Ask trying to talk to the Ask me how you idea. want it to be approached. Stop. Ask me how my stop. name is. Ask me how anything is. That's how you do your job. Thanks for letting me know how to do my job. You're welcome. Yeah, Honestly, there, you're quiet, welcome. Please. Because instead of sitting there and just throwing out names and not having shit on any information that you have. With her screams reaching an ear-splitting pitch, tension soars. The officer's patience is put to the ultimate test. Done now. Are you sure? Yeah. You get it all out? Now, yeah, now that I know that in your ear that they heard every thing how your job actually is. Yeah, the whole reason why you get kicked off the one. Yeah, but why? Yeah, I told me that you were arguing with them. Just like you're arguing with them here. What, what was and then the you argue with though? me there. Backup arrives, but instead of calming down, she switches to tearful pleas, pleading innocence in a desperate attempt to manipulate the situation. You can't argue that I argue with you on the plane. I didn't say you argued with me on the plane. That's what you just No, I said that you argued. So I didn't just look. I'm, I'm not being you're in, smart ass. I'm you're intoxicated. Really sorry for no, I'm literally just asking what my yeah, priorities are at this point. Are you serious? I didn't punch anybody, I didn't like cuss at anybody, I didn't do anything. Like, why am I? Why? Well, because I asked the officer's like credentials. Stop. That's it. Stop. No, I'm sorry. Do you have anything on you, Chanel, about before we go to jail? If we get to no, jail? no, he never hey, Addison, did any of his Addison, job. I'm talking to you. Is there no. anything on you, Chanel, about when we no. get to jail? They brought he didn't check me on, on a single thing. Okay. They didn't see me on a single Addison. thing. All because I questioned your you manhood. Yeah, you did. That's not, that's not you had saying. everything fine with me until no. I literally questioned your manhood. What are you talking yes, about? Yes, I did. No. Yes, I literally have it on video recordings. I had everything on you talking normal to me yeah. until I literally questioned your job. And then you job. immediately went into my jobs, this and this and this. I have everything on recordings. Oh, everything. It's, it's recording, but yes. No, it doesn't matter. Because no, of you. No, and with your name and with your disorderly conduct and not breathalyzing me, not doing I don't, anything. I don't have to do all that. I can, on, I can tell yes. you're toxic. No, it doesn't matter. It Until totally on does. top, on top of everything that you have on top of paperwork. Mm -hmm. Are you going to the academy? Is that what you're doing? doing? Authorities lead her away, conduct a search, and continue to face her relentless verbal assaults. In the end, justice is served with disorderly intoxication charges. Next, a Taco Bell customer loses it when told the price of a water cup and demands a refund. So how much is that? $2.59. You charge $2.59 for a water cup? And what's your name? My name? Uh -huh. I was just wondering why you're charging two fifty for a water cut. Can you just give me a refund? What's wrong, honey? And they want to charge me like two fifty for a water cut. That's ridiculous. Is that You're not recording, What? You're not recording. Why would I need to do that? I'm just saying. 
Did you order something to me? It's right here. Oh, oh. Yeah. So you already ordered something? It's right there. Here you go. Don't worry about it. She didn't charge you for it. There's reasons that we we'll have to do that this time. Because they just fill up the I've worked in the food industry sector. It's absolutely ridiculous to charge two fifty nine for a water cup. Despite the brewing storm, the attendants handled it like pros, keeping things calm and collected before it could escalate into a full-blown Karen moment. And that's a wrap on this wild ride, from Charger Karen thinking a borrowed cable is her birthright to the entitled couple trying to claim a public street as their own. The chaos never stops. Oh, and who could forget the self-appointed noise police Karen, storming a construction site to demand silence for her important work. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more jaw-dropping Karen encounters.